So we're going to begin with our feet parallel, just underneath our hips, so it's a hip width apart. You're going to rock very gently onto the balls of your feet, so put the weight on the balls of your feet and then back onto the heels just a little bit and the point of this is to try and find your center. Wiggle your toes, feel your toes pressing into the floor and now what you want to do is just soften your knees as you're rocking and find the position where you have weight evenly on your heels, on the sides of your feet and on the balls of your feet. Picture a footprint in the sand evenly distributed. That's how you want the pressure on your feet. Once you've found that, keep your knees soft and let's move up to our pelvis. You want to engage your glutes very slightly and I find you can do this quite nicely if you rock back on your heels. It just engages your glutes a bit and then find your center again and engage your lower abs. Pull them in. Let's move up to our uh, chest. We're going to take a nice deep breath in here and as you breathe out soften the ribs. So we spend most of our times with our chests out like this and my, when I'm saying soften the ribs I mean you want to bring those ribs down. You might want to pull it into your back a bit. And as you breathe out soften everything down. No tension. So once we've lost the tension there, but we're keeping all this engaged, we're going to move up to our shoulders. And lift our arms to the side, all the way up, and we're going to put our hands on our shoulders so that our elbows as much as possible are sticking out. You'll find that quite a big stretch under there or a nervy stretch. Across the back too. Yeah. Lift your elbows so you're kind of drawing a circle up and forward. And then you're going to drop those shoulders right into the shoulder blades and then drop the hands down and that should be able to be able to sit your shoulders nicely back. Just put your head, our lovely chicken necks, back so that it's sitting on top of your spine as much as possible with your shoulders down, with your ribs down, tummy engaged, everything engaged. So now we're going to straighten our legs and squeeze our heels together so it's a tiny little first that we have but everything can now be nicely engaged and then we put our hands into bra bra. We're gonna float our hands up to first, keeping everything down. Don't let those ribs pop because it's very easy as we keep going up to fifth to do this. I'm gonna do the wrong thing, mum's gonna do the right thing. That's not what we want. We want what mum's doing. She's keeping everything engaged as we float up. Once we're there, keep those shoulders down, stretch out the fingers, open out and down to bra bra and keep those shoulders down. Let's try that again. Is your tummy in? Your buttocks working? Everything pulled up, lift up. An easy thing is to breathe out to keep those ribs down as you lift up to fifth and keep those shoulders nice and down. And now extend and open. Now when we get to second, we're gonna lift those elbows and keep the shoulders down, engage those muscles in your back. Can you feel that? Very much so. And now lower to bra bra. And now we're ready to dance. Mm -hmm.